Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Field Trips. We're still here in the United States. We were actually in Pensacola, Florida with a couple good friends of mine. One, a longtime good friend who you've seen in Panama with me, Charles Breon. He's here to help me film something pretty cool. We got a guy here named Farrell Stackhouse who won a fishing trip with me at the Fish and Paddle Saltwater Slam Kayak Fishing Tournament up in Ocean City, Maryland. He won a trip fishing with me and we're here in Pensacola. And this time we're gonna be doing some offshore kayak fishing for Kingfish and Red Snapper with a good friend of mine, Brandon Barton, one of the top kayak fishing guides, top offshore kayak fishing guides in the country. This guy is the man, he catches giant snapper and giant kingfish. This guy's the man, he's so fun to be around, so fun to fish with, but it's gonna be pretty sweet. Farrell won this trip, all expenses paid. You guys can win a fishing trip with me if you come fish the Fish and Paddles tournament in June in Ocean City, Maryland. I hope to have you out there, it's such a good time. But in the morning we're going fishing, we're gonna be going super early, heading offshore into the Gulf of Mexico out of Pensacola, Florida. It's gonna be so much fun. We'll see you guys on the beach. For a while there yesterday, uh, we didn't think we were gonna make it today. Yeah. Really did, dude, really, really. Sure. Sprinting through the airport. Do you chum them up beforehand? I do sometimes, but sometimes the there. most of the time I've been out here, man, they're already fired up. Like you roll up and you see these giant arches, 10 feet below the surface, and you know they're already they're already fired up. So and this spot that we're going to is my closest end spot. It's only like a mile. And I honestly haven't fished anything else but that spot in the past two or three years because it hasn't, there's no need to. I've caught them here. Right. I'll let yeah, we'll let Feral experiment. Yeah, walk out, you know, so you're about waist deep and then just wait. And I'm there you go. All right. That could have gone worse. And we're out, ladies and gents. Beautiful morning. First order of business is gonna be catching bait. Brandon's got the Torquedo motor just cruising in style. And now we don't need the live baits for these red snapper. We're gonna be using cut bait and some lures. But once we got our limit, which is gonna happen real quick, super positive, super confident today. Then we're gonna switch gears. We're gonna do some trolling. There's sailfish out here. There's smaller mahi out here. King mackerel or kingfish. And there are also 200 pound tarpon. So we're gonna do a little bit of variety today, but first order of business is bait, because uh, this low light this time of day, it's gonna be our best chance of catching live bait, Brandon says. Oh, dude, bait like greyhounding out of the water like something was chasing it. Big... All right, guys, so this is a sabiki rig. And in theory, this will pull right out. Yeah, in theory. Theory is not uh, holding true today. All right. Now this is the most dangerous rig in fishing, particularly in kayak fishing, because it's got six really sharp, really tiny hooks that will just get all, like you get wrapped in this and you're gonna be in trouble. That's why I left it in the package till I got out here. Sabiki rig, bunch of little hooks. This is money for catching bait offshore. If you've never fished offshore, this may be new to you. But we're gonna drop this down and see if we can't get some live baits. Now, Brandon, his uh, live well, he charged the battery last night and it was working fine yesterday. And of course, this morning, his live well will not turn on. The pump won't turn on. We don't know if there's a short in the wire or what. We tried to troubleshoot it, it didn't work out. So we don't have our live well. We're gonna have to kind of keep putting fresh water on these baits and not be able to hold as many today, but that's okay. Again, they're kind of just a bonus. The main mission today is red snapper for dinner one of the tastiest and, and one of the harder fighting fish in the ocean. And we don't need the live baits for that. So live baits are kind of for a bonus, no worries. Well, let's get up here, we got some bait on the surface. Is that good bait or no? Nah? Yeah, they're decent. I got like six or seven already too. Oh, really? I got one, I got some. I'm coming to you. First cast, got some bait on. Yeah, I got like four, bro. If 
I don't lose them, you know, I'll just come up here and sling them to you, or what do you want me to do? Oh, yeah, bring them right in my kayak. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? There's only six hooks. Yeah, that's what happens. Oh. Yeah, that is a mess now. Yeah. Great. That's why it sucks. When you get a bunch on, you really, if you feel, oh, there's that one on the end, then that's what we need right there. That's a cigar minnow. That's a cigar minnow? Yep. Oh, so they're mixed in there, huh? Yep. See, that's the, the sardine. The sardine. And then you can see this one is like smooth and doesn't have any scales. Yeah, in yeah. And they're a lot more hardier. So that's what we want, huh? There's some in there. Jesus, look at this. I don't know if I'm ever gonna. I mean, if you need another one here, this might be. I got plenty. This might be garbage. It'll take me an hour to get this face. Well, I carry my <sighs> Yeah. So four baits at once just ruined this sabiki first cast, but we got four baits out of it, or three. One came off. Uh, not ideal, but I'm not even gonna mess with this. I'm just gonna cut this off. And tie a new one. Yeah, I gotta fix. I mean, oh, I know. The water's gorgeous. Just beautiful turquoise, man. I love this. I, I always say, like, this is some of the prettiest beaches in the world or in the country, for sure. I think right here, like Destin, prettiest beach in the lower 48. If you ask me. And, and this area right here, I know it's a little green right now, but like early spring, I mean, it's amazing. Look, crystal clear. Yeah, you're saying this is a little green. This is like. Bahamas water compared to Texas where I, I learned to offshore fish. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you got some? Yeah, I think I left mine down. Oh, cigar minnows. Cigar minnows? Nice. That's what we want. And I mean, we can't, we're not going to be able to hold too many baits, right? No, like, but I'm going to... I mean, it does it or two. All right. Rigged back up. Back in business. All right, guys, well, we got enough bait. If his live was working, we'd probably keep grinding and try to get a few more, but we're gonna, just gonna make it work with what we got. And so we're gonna start heading out to the spot and we're gonna start off trolling kingfish rigs, king rigs, which is basically a wire leader, J hook with this little flash on there to give us some visibility and then a little uh, treble stinger because these kingfish are known for short striking and cutting your bait clean in half. So that way, no matter where on the bait it hits it, whether towards the front or in the tail, it's gonna get hooked. We're gonna troll these at the spot, see if we can't pick up a kingfish on the way. And then once we get there, we're gonna switch gears, throw a circle hook on this rig instead, and go after some red snapper. And Brandon Barton here is the man. He is known all over the country for, for this fishery and what he does. If you guys wanna book a trip with him, you can. It's Emerald Coast Kayak Fishing. I'll put a link down in the description. You guys should also check out the last video. The last time I fished with this guy was too long ago, three or four years ago. And we went after some big bull reds on, on top waters and it was some of the most fun fishing I've, I've, I've done in my life. And today he promised me a sailfish. He said 100% which way we had? guarantee. South. You ever hook sailfish on the wire rig? Yeah, that's what we hooked on yesterday. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Five cigar minnow on the wire. Hey, sailfish coming up. You want me to tie? Get on there. Sure, sure. Drag wise. Loose. Loose. Like trout fishing. Let him eat it. Okay. Trout fishing. And then, hook him up. and then like, how fast am I trying to troll this guy? Pretty slow? Uh, just steady. I mean, you're gonna have to probably settle pretty decent. Just to get through this yeah. current, yeah. So real light drag and then tighten it down once I get a run or what? Yeah. Got it. Because the king's hit so fast. Yeah. The... Snatch it out of their mouth. Got it. All right, y'all. Now we're fishing. Live bait in the water. We're gonna troll these out to the snapper grounds. And then start fishing once we get out there, but on the way, never know. He's calling this kingfish rig because it's got wire on it, but really he's saying they hooked the sailfish yesterday on this wire rig. And uh, I gotta believe tarpon probably hit this too. Never know out here. See what happens. Good runs? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I got the drag probably like three pounds. Yeah, that's, that's good. Especially when they're getting close. Right. You want me to try to tail it? Yeah, I would just tail grab it when he comes in. Let him circle a couple times and then... Nice. 
I knew with this weather, man, the bike should, king bike should be picking up. You bring him over to me, let me get an underwater shot. Yeah. He's going under, he's going under. Still got a little bit of right. heart in him. When he gets close again, just grab that leader right. and then use the leader to kind of get his tail close to you, you know what I mean? Okay. There you go. And then just kind of, ooh, he's barely hooked, barely hooked. There you go. Got him. Good job, man. Thank you, sir. Alright, let him get what he needs. Oh! Yep! Fish on! It's not very big! It's right here. Might be a Spanish. Yep. Spanish. All right. So this, if I can get it in. is a Spanish mackerel. Kind of the little brother to that king mackerel he just caught. Looks a lot like the Sierra mackerel that we catch in Panama. In Panama, that's good live bait, but here I don't think so. They got sharp, sharp teeth, and he's got that treble in there. But we'll keep this guy as well. He's, he's good to eat. These mackerel, they're oily like most mackerel in the world, which lends them good to smoking. They're great smoked fish. But there we go, first fish of the day for Rob, not the big king that Farrell got, but uh, sweet little Spanish mackerel. I'm gonna go ahead and put him out of his misery and then stick him under my seat for now. All right, he's dispatched. I'll see if we got another live bait and we'll get back to it. Not what I was hoping for, but not the sailfish I was after. You could probably put that guy alive, catch a sailfish. That's roosterfish candy. I think this might be the last one I think. Really? Yeah, the sardines didn't do too good. Oh man. But we got plenty of frozen. All right. Oh, Ooh, that was about bad. <laughs> live bait's not doing great with the live well not working. But that's okay. We're just gonna roll with the punches and, and make it work. Got a couple fish already. Getting bit. That's a good king too. See that king? Yeah, I know. I saw it. There's a little Spanish. And he uh, needed that king. Yeah. All right, last live bait of the morning. Let's see if we can turn it into something good. We'll see what happens. This is all right now kind of bonus fishing. We're just trying to get out to the red snapper spot and figure might as well troll on the way, so. I'm on again, bro. Uh, I'm on again. I think I got another one. Another fish on. Yeah, right away. Oh, this is something else. I think it might be a king, or it's a much bigger Spanish. Smoking run, I don't think he knew he was hooked at first. If this is a Spanish, it's gonna be a big one, or it might be a small king. But I mean, I just had that bait out for 60 seconds, maybe less, after uh, dropping off that Spanish. 
and now we're out of live bait and I was hoping for a sailfish. But whatever this is, I don't think it's a Spanish. I feel like it's gotta be a kink. Oh! Oh, dude. Oh. Something good, you guys. Something good. It's like he didn't know he was hooked, and then he took off, and then he still was kind of coming to the boat. And then he keeps doing that now. Never know, man. Never know out here. At first I thought it was a Spanish because it wasn't pulling that hard, and then it did that, or maybe I got sharked or something. Oh. Smoking runs, you guys. Whew. Bro, what is this? <laughs> Like I tightened my drag down. I mean, it's not locked or anything, but it's not that light. Good fish, you guys, something good. It didn't feel like it at first, but it does now. I mean, getting some like headshot, it might be a shark, dude. I don't know, man. I mean, it looks like it's coming in pretty easy to be a shark. Pretty s fast runs too. No, it doesn't feel sharky. Oh, I see it. I think it's Big King. Big King. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Golly! Yeah. Real smoking! Woo! Gah. Making this last live bait count if I can get it in. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, good king. Good nice smoker. Holy man. Probably the one that was skying. Maybe. It's been a while since I caught a king mackerel. This is a pretty good one. Oh yeah, dude. Big king. Oh, golly. Just when you think he's ready. Oh yeah. That's a good one. Stud kingfish. You guys. Oh, dude. That's a good king. Got him. How's that for a kingfish? God, dog. That was fighting so weird, man. It was coming at me. I was like, ah, another Spanish right away. And then all of a sudden it was like, wait, nope. That's no Spanish mackerel. Look at that. Kingfish, king mackerel. Look at those teeth. That's why we got the wire rigs on there. And that is a good fish there. That was fun. Smoking runs. Goodness gracious. Ah, oh, great fish. Dude, that's so fun. Oh yeah. Wow, dude. <laughs> dude, those runs, that was so ridiculous, man. Like, screaming. It's been a long time since I caught a king mackerel and that's a that's a doozy to get back in the groove with. Man. We saw a big one sky earlier and I knew with this weather that we were gonna get into these kings pretty good. It's just perfect king weather with it being choppy like it is. And Definitely, definitely going on right now. Oh yeah. God, that's fun, man. That was so fun. Yeah, watch your... Look at that. Whoa, look at that. Man, that's a stud too. Yo, he choked it too. Yeah. It's cause, man, I was still like... Up your belt. I was still like freelining, you know? Like, I wasn't even really going yet. I just put the damn thing in the water. Oh man, I'm covered in blood. <laughs> you were watching the video, I was like, God, oh, dirt. <laughs> Bloodbath. Just a sign of a good morning fishing already. I want this rig back. That was so fun. That was a, that's a, these are two good kings, too. Yeah, that's a stud. Like in Texas, we, we get big kings. Yeah, like, no, we don't get them like y'all get them. We yeah. have them once in a while, you know, but yeah. not consistently. Yeah, like in Texas, that'd be a, you know, solid king. Right. But for here, I mean, in my experience, yeah, we don't get I've only kingfished here once and we caught nothing but small ones, smaller than ferals there. 
How's that working? Looks right, I think. There it is. And I made it happen. How's it look? A little, little kinky? Good, good. It looks okay? 40 pound, 40 pound seven, so it should be good to roll again. All right. All right, so we're at a lot of baits, but Brandon says that they don't really care, especially when it's windy like this. Visibility's down, they can't see as well. So we're just gonna roll it, run a dead bait and troll it the same way. He's saying these kings should should be willing to hit that too. And in fact, he said some days they'll even hit that more. We'll see what happens, but hot and heavy right now, you guys. We've been fishing for like 15 minutes and Charles lost one, Farrell got one. I've got a Spanish and a king on the two baits I've put out. Fish are biting. Brandon was just joking, we're never gonna make it to the snapper grounds at this rate, the fish won't let us make any progress. We're pedaling into the current, but no complaints here. All right, throw out this dead one and keep trying to make our way to the, to the spot. But in the meantime, having a blast. I, I just always had bull reds like spin out of them. Yeah. Uh, I use bow reds now, if I use anything. <laughs> got dolphins right here, which is never good for the fishing. We just got to the spot and Brandon said he's marking snapper. It's looking good. And that's probably what this dolphin's here doing. Probably hunting these snapper or maybe hunting the same bait that they're, they're hunting. But typically dolphins, porpoises make fish nervous. So not really what you want to see right when you get to the fishing spot, but hopefully these fish will still eat. All right, so we just cut off these kingfish rigs and we're going to switch over to circle hooks for these snapper and just basically totally different strategy. So with those kingfish, we were fishing super light drag letting them take the bait, letting them run with it, and then tightening it down. Now, with the snapper, we are gonna be fishing locked down drag, balls to the walls kind of fishing. These fish are gonna try to get down into the reef and break us off, and we gotta stop them before they get down there. So this is gonna be totally different. It's gonna be hot and heavy, fast fights, and these snapper, I mean all snapper, are just bruisers, strong, strong fighting fish. This may get pretty chaotic here. Like I said, Brandon's marking a lot of fish. Yeah, the whole thing. The bigger the better, it sinks down better. So let's get rigged up. We're gonna get a circle hook on here and then uh, we're gonna be using cut bait for these snappers. Hey man. You gonna tie it on for me? Wow. So he's doing it. Full service. Getting the full the full guided treatment here, even though Brandon's just a buddy. Yeah. Alright. Alright, and let me rig him up and then we'll have to get back on the spot. Back on the spot, yep, no worries. All right, rigged up, circle hook, cut bait. We're good to go. But we're jerking off the spot. The current's moving pretty quick. So we need to get back, back to the spot now. Hopefully these, uh, this dolphin hasn't messed up these snapper, hasn't made them too nervous. Hopefully they're still willing to eat. So red snapper, I've caught these fish in Texas at the oil rigs back in the day. The Texas coast is where I kind of cut my teeth, where I learned how to offshore kayak fish and we catch kingfish like that one. And then these same red snapper, the difference is in Texas, in the shallow water oil rigs where we fish, where we can reach with a kayak, you're catching red snapper like this. That's not these red snapper. They get giant here. These things are gonna be bruisers, dude. Lockdown drag, he said. Will this dolphin steal a snapper? Nah. Jeez. I'm so excited, you guys. All right, so pretty unique strategy here for these snapper. Not at all what I thought we were gonna be doing today. We're gonna be fishing these guys on free spool, and letting them take our bait down before we engage them. Don't let, it, let them eat it too long. Don't let them eat it too long, huh? You want them to take it for a second? Uh, that's why lifting your rod up when you're looking down and letting it come down usually has enough time. Are we too... Are we too close or I guess we gotta be pretty close. So we are just fishing this in free spool, literally waiting for them to take this bait while the bale is open on our reels. And once that line starts screaming out, then we'll let them take it a little bit longer and then we're gonna engage and then, like I said. Watch your fingers around the braid too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And lock down drag, you're saying? Well, pretty close. I mean, I mean, yeah. Pretty close, yeah. yeah. One hand wrap. Charles, I need to, hold on, don't pedal. Let me get out of your way. There it is. Small one. Oh, Farrell's getting bit too. Me and Charles are just making out over here. If you don't 
fill them on, then open it back up and keep it refilling. Brandon had a fish on. Smaller one, and the feral had a bite, but it dropped it. Or this dolphin stealing our baits. <laughs> Brandon's on. Wow, one minute of fishing. Looks like a pretty good one, huh? It's all right. Not huge? You know it's a good one when they pull some drag. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This dolphin's, small guy. This dolphin's fired up. Oh, mangrove, mangrove. Mangrove? Yep. Oh, so I didn't know those were out here. Yep. Oh, dude, this dolphin's fired up. Mangrove snapper for Brandon Ooh. in the boat. Nice. Pretty mangrove. Dude, that's a nice mangrove. Are you kidding me? Nice bycatch right here. Yeah. Mangrove snapper, look at that. Sweet bycatch. Mangrove snapper, not the red snapper we're targeting, but delicious that's fish. That's a great one. These, these actually taste better than red snapper in my opinion. I've never eaten mangrove. We gotta cook that guy up. Got one to eat now. Brandon Barton, he's the only one out here who knows what he's doing. Uh-oh, I got line coming out. Oh God. Or maybe I'm just pulling away from it. Oh no, something had it. And I pulled it out of his mouth. Man, hot and heavy so far. Yep, lost my bait. All right, well, a few bites right away. One fish to the boat, mangrove snapper on the first little drift here, but now we've, we've blown out the spots. So we're gonna get back up there. Earlier I had a few runs that, oh, there you go. Brandon's on. Again, not too big. Uh oh. Dolphins are coming in. <laughs> Little red snapper. Dolphin bait. I think I might be getting bit. Hard to tell with the current. Let's see. Yeah. I mean, if they're not running from these dolphins, they're just not paying attention because these things are fired up. Oh, I think I got. God, it's hard to tell. He's. Oh yeah, there it is. That one. I don't know. It just screamed off and then stopped. Open it back up. I think he's there. We're gonna find out. Man. Oh, God. Did it again? Yeah, and I had the bail closed. Try to rip the rod out of my hand. I was thinking I should reel it up and check it, but I think it's still there. They're still. Yeah, if you still feel any weight, leave it down there. Yeah. Oh, I think we got. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No. What? I thought for sure. I got robbed. Rob got robbed. That's what I always tell my girlfriend, you just got robbed. <laughs> yeah, I had bites earlier that felt more like something small pecking at it. I don't think I've gotten a real bite yet. Yep. There you go. You're getting bit too? Well, what am I doing wrong? Nice feral. Oh. Yeah. What do you got? Red snapper. Yeah. It's not huge. Smaller one. Oh, you're back on? What am I doing wrong? I think I'm getting I'm getting bit now too. Oh I see yours. Oh no, maybe my line was in your I don't know what's happening. A little Almaco. Little Jack? Yeah, I'm on. Uh, feels pretty decent. Uh, 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 
It feels like a good fish, but it's hard to tell because they're just strong fish. I don't think he is that big. They're just so strong. Yeah, it's about the same size. God. Golly though, man. They are strong. He choked it too. I was there it is guys. Target species. Beautiful, beautiful red snapper. And that's just a little guy, but golly, he was tugging. I mean, I, oh, I can only imagine. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. I can only imagine like a 30 inch fish. You need another bait here, Rob? Yeah, I'm gonna need a bait. Well, this guy, probably legal, but just barely. We're gonna toss him back. Pew! Took off. All right, well, mission accomplished. We're catching some. Now we just need to find some with a little more size. There we go. Oh no, I think it's it's in the rocks. Ah! Oh. Yeah, bud. Got a red? Yeah. Yeah, he said. He said yeah. Going ape. Sit me down. I think I'm getting bit, but it might be something small. Yeah, on, on. Uh, it doesn't feel very big. It doesn't feel very big. Some of the red snapper, just a wee lad. I look at this dolphin. He said, "Lunch is served." Look at this guy. Get out of here now. It's little guy. This dolphin's about to get it for sure. He's like just sitting here waiting. Look at him. He's just sitting there. Smaller than your mangroves. And there goes the dolphin right for him. Well, you guys, it's working. We're catching fish. I haven't found any of the studs that I'm always seeing Brandon catch, but they're out here. Just gotta weed through these little guys. And we're hoping this dolphin will fill up on all of our 16 inches and then it'll take off before we start getting into the big boys. Oh, yeah. there, you go. there it is. Brandon's on again. Oh, it's another freaking stud mangrove. No, uh Yes. Even bigger than the last one. Bigger? Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Sick fish. I think I'm getting bit. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, maybe. It's just really far out there. I can't. I don't think he's very good. Nah, he's smaller. He's coming up. Oh, oh, never mind. A remora came up, but he was just. Oh, dude, the dolphin. They're looking at it. <laughs> Monster. Now you can tell the difference to those big ones immediately, buddy. I'm sorry. I gotta let you go, and uh, good luck. Good luck. Oh, there they go. Yep. Already got them. Pretty far off. God, I can't tell. He was messing with it. Yep, there we go. That's not big though. way out there. Got a lot of line out. He's not big. Man, even smaller. Damn. They're getting smaller. <laughs> Another red snapper. Not the size class we're looking for here. Just a wee lad. What was that? Oh, dolphin. Breakfast is served. Oh, there he goes. Like a better one. 
doesn't feel huge, but it feels bigger. Uh, if it's a snapper, I feel like it's gotta be a keeper. Uh, uh, fish on you guys. Yeah. It doesn't really feel so golly. Uh, should I uh, just bow flip it? <laughs> coming up now it's coming up now yeah i mean night and day the fight no way oh yeah big snapper big snapper good one good one nice. yeah solid one yep. flip it yeah nice nice work rob oh. that is more of the caliber of snapper we're looking for not a giant, not a monster. I've seen Brandon catch much bigger, but that is a great, great fish. Good eating size snapper. And it was a pretty subtle take. He wasn't ripping it off, man. Like it's definitely not, you know, they're not like crazy fired up. That's my personal best red snapper for sure. I've caught quite a few in Texas, but always pretty small ones. And that is a pretty good fish. Not a monster, but great eating size. And that guy's gonna go home and join the mangrove snapper for dinner. And man, just so strong. I can't imagine, they catch them like three times this size here. I can't imagine one three times the size of that, what that fight would be like, but feels good. We've been grinding a lot of small fish and it's kind of slowed down here the last hour or so. And we don't have too much time left, but there's a big one. So I think we just gotta stick with it, grind it out. Let's go get some more. Beautiful fish. Look at that. <laughs> You don't care. <laughs> no, but look at my line. It's in your paddle. It's in your paddle. It's in your paddle. My line's in your paddle. My line's oh, in oh, your paddle. Oh, oh. What happened? Oh, dude. Do you see that? What? You threw my rod in the water? I threw your rod in the water and then caught it. Sick, dude. Nice. Nice work. We're going to feast tonight. Yeah. Feasting. Yeah, since we're getting out of here early, we'll just do the cooking tonight. Fuck. Feast. Feast. We need some Feast like, on it, huh? We need something to go with it. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. I got rice, but we'll we'll go to the store. Some nice uh, Countos Ray nuggets. Ah, yes. Countos Parmigiana. The Chesapeake Parmesan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we'll go to the store. We're gonna have plenty of time since we're getting out of here early. Thanks, bro. Oh. Wow, you almost did it. I almost did it. This is like a six hundred dollar setup. Get this guy on ice. Nice and easy. Easy breezy. Oh, man. Yeah, we got a snapper feast going now. We got three mangroves and now a nice red. Yo, snapper, catch and cook. Yo, we're gonna have a blind taste test. See which one we like better? Double blind taste test. That's a good idea. Great idea, Charles. Yeah, you sound like all the 55 year old men on Facebook. I uh, see a nice snapper in that picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Me. All right, guys. Well, today was kind of a short day. Got out here really early before the sun and we're heading back in. It's about noon, maybe even a little earlier. So nice little short morning session. Got it done. Two nice kingfish, couple Spanish mackerel, three nice mangrove snapper. And we threw back some smaller keeper red snapper and I got the one nice one that we brought back with us. So plenty of food for dinner, but we're all pretty beat. Um, I drove 13 hours yesterday, got here unhitched. Went and picked them up at the airport at midnight. We got up at 3.30. It's, it's kind of uh, catching up to all of us. Brandon's got work. So we're heading in now. We gotta go clean some fish and then cook up some fish. We're gonna come up with a killer snapper recipe for you guys. And we're talking about doing a little blind taste test. Mangrove snapper versus red snapper. See which one we like better. We're heading in, we are trolling on the way in, but no one's got anything yet. We are kind of coming into the tarpon zone now, up shallower. But we're gonna go get cleaned up, clean these fish up, maybe take a little nap, I don't know. And then we'll see you guys in the kitchen in the rig in the Keystone RV. And we're gonna cook up dinner for you guys, cook up something special with these snapper. I'm excited, these fish are delicious. And I've never eaten mangrove snapper. I'm curious to see how it shakes up, how it compares to the red snapper. We'll see. See you guys in the kitchen. 
water is just gorgeous. Look at this. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Better hop out. I'm good, I'm good. Yep. That was close. Yeah. Almost dunked it. Shoo! Well, you guys, I've got some bad news. I am no longer in Pensacola, Florida. As you could probably tell, I am back in Texas, it's cold. The reason you are not about to watch the cooking portion of that incredible day, red snapper fishing and king fishing, is that my SD card in my nice camera was somehow corrupted or something. Couldn't get the footage off there, that's why there was no footage in this episode from my nice camera, including the intro where I introduced you guys to Charles and Farrell, two amazing guys that were so much fun to fish with and hang out with for a few days. And also the cooking portion where we cooked up the red snapper and the mangrove snapper. The mangrove snapper won. It was so fantastic, so delicious. I'm so bummed I don't get to share that with you guys. But the fishing was so fun and so cool and so different than anything I've done in a while that I just had to put together the episode anyways. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry. There's not going to be a cooking portion, but take my word for it. It was delicious. But we're not done with Charles and Farrell. We've got another episode coming up where we went inshore in Pensacola to go after some big bull redfish that happened to have a taste for topwater lures that day. It's gonna be a fun one. There's also no footage from an ice camera from that one either, but it's still it's just such good action. You're, you're, you're gonna love it. So that'll be up next. Thank you guys for watching till the end. I'm sorry I couldn't show you the cooking part, but I'll see you next week. Thank you guys so much. Please like and comment and subscribe. Comment and tell me I'm an idiot or if you got SD card tips or something, I don't know. I've been doing this a long time and uh, these things just happen sometimes. But anyways, thanks again. I'll catch you guys next week. I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing old Hank. It ain't that long till I'm back at the